What is going on guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to learn about something that was highly requested on this channel in the comments section. It is how to convert Python files into executable files on Windows. So how to convert .py files, .py files into .exe files, .exe files. And uh, this here is one example of how I did it. So it's the RSI analysis tool. It's one of the previous videos, the technical analysis in Python. Uh, I took this script, which is quite large when you think about it, because it imports matplotlib and pandas. And as you can see, it takes some time to boot up, uh, quite a time to boot up actually. Uh, but once it's done and once it's loaded the data from the Yahoo Finance API, uh, you can see that we can actually execute the whole program here. And this is not a Python file being executed. This is not a Python script. It is an executable file. It's working on its own. It doesn't have anything else. It's just the .exe file. Um, and you can see it has 300 megabytes for what it does. That's quite large. So what you need to know up front definitely is that creating executable files with Python is not an optimal thing to do. You can do it, but Python is still an interpreted language. It's not meant to be compiled. If you want to have .exe files, if you want to build, for example, a virus or a keylogger, that has to be an executable file and run in the background and uh, not the script that you can look into, you don't want to code it in Python. You can code it in Python sometimes, but actually you want to do this in C and C++, maybe in C Sharp, in something that can actually be compiled if you want to have a compiled file, obviously. Now you can still use Python for penetration testing and so on, but it's a script and you can usually look into a script, especially it's an interpreted script. So it executes line after line, which means that it's supposed to be readable, right? Um, so today, nevertheless, we're going to learn how to do this in Python, how to, or actually how to convert Python files on Windows into executable files, even though it's not the most optimal thing to do. So let us get right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a command line, we're going to type CMD. And in here, we're going to install the PI installer module using pip. If you don't know what pip is, if you don't have pip installed, check out my beginners and intermediate tutorial series on Python, there I show you how to install it. So if you have pip, you can just type pip install and the module. Um, in my case, I'm also going to activate the Anaconda environment here. Uh, this is an optional step. If you're not using Anaconda, just ignore it, just use pip directly. But if you're using it, you can activate it now. And then you say pip install pi installer. Now in my case, it says already satisfied, the requirements are already satisfied because I've already installed the module. Um, and once you have installed it, uh, you can also just go ahead and use it. And what you need to do first is you need to navigate the command line to the directory where your Python file is. In this case, we're going to just navigate it to the desktop where we are going to create a Python file. So here we're just going to say new file and we're going to create a, I don't know, main.py file. And inside of it, we're just going to do something very simple, just some effect that we can notice. For example, we're going to say with open um, my file.txt in writing mode plus and sf. We're just going to say f.write hello world. So we have this basic effect here. This is a very simple script. And if we just close this and run this, you can see that we get a myfile.txt. So it has the effect that it creates a file. And in this file, we can see uh, hello world. So we're going to delete the file now and we're going to convert this main.py file into an executable file. <clears throat> so what we do is we type pi installer. And now we have to specify some parameters. The first one, if you want to, uh, the first parameter uh, parameter that you specify if you want to is the one file parameter. So you type uh, minus minus one file. And this means that we have one executable file where everything is uh, inside of that file. So we don't have DLL files or some libraries or some special files. Everything is in one executable file and you don't have anything else. If you want that you specify minus minus one file. And then we're also going to say it's windowed just optional since we don't have a GUI here it doesn't actually matter. Um, but what we also can do is we can specify an icon and this icon has to be of the file type dot ICO so dot ICO. Uh, and once we have such a file, we can say minus I and then specify the icon. In this case, icon.ico. And this is just a neural nine logo up here. It's just a basic icon file that we're going to use. And we can then say 
minus, um, or actually not minus, sorry, then we just specify the Python script. So main.py, and then we click enter. And what you're going to see is that it starts building. And since this is a very basic script, very, very simple, it's going to finish quite fast. If it's a very extensive script or a big application, it can take many minutes or even hours, depending on the size of your program. Uh, but as I said, you should not necessarily be compiling Python scripts. It's not, not what they're not what they're meant to do or to be. So once we are done with the building here, we get uh, those files and directories here. Actually, if we're honest, we can dump those three here. So we are going to delete them, recycle bin emptying. Uh, we're also going to delete the original script so that you see that uh, it's not just calling the script, we're just going to delete it completely. And inside of the dist folder here, inside of the dist directory, we have main.exe, which is um, an executable file with the neural nine logo. And when we run it, when we double click it, first of all, my antivirus software starts scanning it. And then you can see that it creates a my, my file.txt where it says hello world inside of it. So you can see that the effect is the same. We can also move it to the desktop where it does the same thing. So just double clicking it, creating a file, that's it. And it's an executable file. You cannot read it. I can also right click it and open it up with Visual Studio Code and uh, you will see that it's not displayed in the editor because it's binary or uses an unsupported text encoding. So we're not able to see what's written in that file. We can also uh, right click it. You can see it's six megabytes, so way larger than a basic Python script. The Python script is not that large. Um, and you can see the compilation went fine. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. One thing I would like to mention is that this will not always work out. For example, I tried to compile or to convert the new summarizer that we already built in a video in a previous video. I tried to convert it into an executable file. It didn't work. It just or actually it converted it, but I couldn't run it. It said failed running script. So it just didn't work because probably it was using some complex libraries that were interconnected and, you know, things go wrong if you compile stuff from an interpreted language. It's not what it's meant to do, as I already said. Uh, also, the stock analysis tool was 300 megabytes, which is way too large for such a simple tool. So the fact is that if you want to combine, if you want to have compiled programs, executable files, you don't code in Python, you use Python as a scripting language to do stuff. And it's a great language, and it can accomplish a lot of tasks. But if you want to have executable compiled files, you use C++, C, Java, whatever, you don't use Python for that. However, in today's video, I showed you how to do it. I, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and make sure you hit that notification bell to not miss any videos. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.